Aha! A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Welcome, 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 I say, to the Scotty McClure Show, globally, talk show, right round the world. How fantastic is that? Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you all with us. And tonight promises to be an absolutely packed show. We have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. So get yourself sorted. Get to your devices because we will be chit-chatting. Now tonight is a royal wedding spectacular. I would imagine every single one of you saw the royal wedding yesterday. So let's have your comments. Good evening, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, says Nick Baldy. Hi there, says Christine Garvin. Fantastic. James Ridley. All right, Bohid. Yes, Bohid. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty Dinky. Do. Fantastic stuff. Great to have so many of you with us tonight because we really have a serious amount of discussion to do. I've been posting about the Royal Wedding and sending out everyone's best wishes, talking on behalf of everybody, really, to send good wishes. How are you, sir, my friend, says Joseph Gibbons, Dinky Doo, scunnered with your Royal Wedding coverage, says Gordon Stelling. Gordon Stelling, you've a lot to learn, my boy, and I'm just the man to teach you. So there we are. Great wedding, Scotty. Make me so, says Colin Crawford. Absolutely, Colin. Dinky do, Scotty, says Stephen Weirmouth. Dinky do to you, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Love the wedding. Saw a few street parties from Glasgow. On the news in London, says Sandy Gibb. Yes, the whole of Scotland has been celebrating Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex. How fantastic is that? Very proud, says Colin Crawford. Absolutely, Colin. I think the whole world was proud yesterday of these young people tying the knot in the beautiful old St. George's Chapel. Tremendous. Good evening, Scotty. A perfect day yesterday. They're all winning. Celtic winning the Scottish Cup as well, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely, Steve. Double whammy for you there. Uh, hello from Loch Winnock, says Nivag Svitek. Nivag Svitek, lovely to have you with us from Loch Winnow. Sandy Gibbs says, Prince Henry, absolutely, Prince Henry, you're quite right. Their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. We have a female presenter. You need to take a wee rest for a few years, says Gordon Stilling. Gordon Stilling, you've been taking a rest for many years. Hi, Scotty, good to see you. In a wee garden party for the wedding, says Gary Crossan. I think everybody did, Gary. Love you, Scotty McClue, says Richie McCusker. Dinky do to you, Richie. Scotty, did you send the happy couple a batch of McClue's pies? So there we are. No, McClue's pies are not yet by appointment. So there you are. Hope you had a good weekend, Scotty. I did indeed, Thomas Hamilton. I had a lovely, lovely weekend. Loved watching the uh, royal wedding yesterday, particularly the bishop that did the address. 14 minutes of love and joy from that man. And uh, so there we are. Good evening, Scotty. Double treble, says Ronnie Stevenson. Trebles all round, Ronnie Stevenson. You top man that you are. So there we are. Michael McGuigan, fantastic, yes. Um, I watched the football, not the wedding, says Christine Garvin. Don't worry, Christine. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's recorded the wedding and you may yet get to see it. So please do not panic. I was thinking a lot of the football grounds should perhaps have put giant TVs up so that you could watch the wedding. But of course, nowadays, virtually every day could see it on their phones. So there you are. Best presenter ever, by the way, says Richie McCusker. Thank you, Richie. That is a very, very kind thing to say. And dinky do, I say. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, live and global on Facebook Live. Dinky do, I say. Dinky do, from 1066 Country Again, Scotty, says Nick Prince, the one for Nick Prince, down there in Hastings, I should bet. Remember, they're also Earl and Countess of Dumbarton United, says William Gates. William Gates, I think you might be talking a little bit of nonsense here. 
Uh, lol, I'm at Parkhead and now. Love you, Scotty, says Christine Garvin. Dinky do, Christine. Lots of love to you at the Parkhead. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, says David Jones. Lovely to have you with us, David. Dinky do to you. Scotty, what did you think of Paul Burrell been removed, says Chris Kelly. So there we are. And uh, uh, interesting stuff. Lots to talk about tonight, guys. Uh, so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. So excellent stuff. And as I say, lovely to have you with us. Tremendous. Welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue and we are Dinky Doo. Right, now, uh, we're talking about tonight, it's a Royal Wedding Spectacular. Uh, the whole world was watching that phenomenal happening yesterday. Prince Charles, um, Prince Harry, the son of Prince Charles, and uh, Meghan Markle getting married in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. One that I know very, very, very well. I enjoyed the wedding, good luck to them both. Unfortunately, my wife thinks it won't last. Glad to have you back, Scotty, says Justin Ferguson. Justin, I'm sure it will last. I mean, it's tremendous stuff. You've just got to go with the flow and make a leap of faith. But it was a spectacular wedding, a wonderful service. Tremendous service. There you are. Is that the real Scotty? Or some tribute act, says Andy Archer. No, Andy, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I am not a tribute act, although I do believe that they do exist. You are watching The Real Scotty live and global, right across Facebook. Get sharing now. Dinky do, I say. Scotty, what do you think about Prince Harry driving the wee car? What type of car was it, says Ryan William Rea. Well, I don't know what time you're actually talking about, Ryan William Rea. That's the thing we need to find out what you are actually talking about. A very warm welcome if you've just joined us, folks. Remember that um, we have uh, share points throughout this program. Now, we're only on for one hour, and uh, we finish at 10 o'clock sharp. One hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for the whole globe. If you've never met me before, I'm Scotty McClue. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty, the McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Scotty, what do you think of Teresa putting in 10 lords just to get toxic something or other? Or the E-type jag. I loved the E-type jag. And of course, there's an, there's an F-type jag now. Quite spectacular. Over 2 billion watching around the world, says Steve Burrows. Yeah, I was laughing at all these idiots going, who's interested, who's interested in all this? I mean, just nonsense. And then people were talking about the homeless being moved. Now, the homeless people, anybody that knows anything about homeless people, they're very, very vulnerable. They would have been overwhelmed by the crowds. So there you are. What do you think of Prince Charles walking Meghan down the aisle, says David Jones? I think it was first class, David. Just what we're needing to see. And uh, for whatever reason... Her father couldn't make it, you know, and may even have been overwhelmed just by the, the majesty of the occasion. They are. I remember the chat show you had? Some proper deep chats on that, says Al Pressman. We still have some proper deep chats, Al, and uh, I suspect the radio show will come back probably sooner rather than later. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, if you want to do it as well, we will share at quarter past but you can share at any time it was a fantastic talk show you've just joined us a very warm welcome you're watching scotty McClue live live on facebook live that's the big one lots and lots to talk about and lots to share tonight hello says james adamson hello james a very warm welcome to you you're live on scotty McClue. so there we are gordon sterling was harry's dad at the wedding yes he was actually walking the bride down the aisle. How amazing is that? Is that you in the pic behind you? Yes, it is. That's me and Lord Reith the Labrador. So there you are. Viv Thompson. Hello. Hello, Viv. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to the Scotty McClue Show, international and global, just for you. Dinky do. And uh, I like your top, Scotty. Thank you. I'm a little bit informal tonight. I was obviously all dressed up in my kilt for the wedding 
and uh, I'm a little bit informal tonight so there you go and of course just flew back in today and um, I used to listen to your phone in 20 years ago you legend says James Jimbo Macaulay James Jimbo Macaulay dinky do the phone ins will return I say just for you right I'm gonna have a quick look here guys how we're getting on so I'm just moving you around uh, we're going to do a bit of sharing if you can do some sharing then so be it excellent excellent stuff that's the one and I am just going to share right now so can every single one of you get sharing you can share at any time but the the mass share points are 15 minutes past the hour 30 minutes past the hour 45 a quarter to and on the hour just before we finish we're here at nine o'clock sharp it's now british summer time was greenwich mean time spread the word right across facebook tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about scotty mcclue saying dinky do to every single one of you even scotty can give a shout out to my friend Haley angela leanne riddle i can harry nollis Haley angela leanne riddle so there you are uh so uh michael curry the bishop says um dinky do to him i done it scotty you did it thomas hamilton you didn't done it you did it i'm just keeping your tenses right because i believe in you right uh, i'm just going to share guys if every single one of you can share that would be tremendous make sure you bring everyone on now don't just share share with your groups as well as your friends all right the sharing is very 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 important i'm just going to share right now here i go fantastic stuff right um that's us shared right now and that will go out as soon as we possibly can uh michael quinn we don't get summer here as you know scotty no we've had about two years of winter and um, so dinky do scotty i remember you from the 90s i loved listening to you back in the scott fm days says mark dobson scott fm was scotland's finest radio hour i would like to see that replicated again say hi to the wife tracy dinky do says james adamson tracy adamson dinky do from everyone around the globe talking to you live on facebook live via scotty mcclue the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man uh, and what have we got here that's me just in case mr mcclue you can now discuss the important stuff says douglas mcpherson or mcpherson he's just joined us we're going to say mcpherson guys because i like that i've always said mcpherson you're nuts says Gary Murky. How do you know that, Gary Murky? Do you have some sort of certificate to say so? Uh, Q96 and Paisley, says Peter Ewing. Yes, a tremendous radio station. In fact, I'm just going to show you. There's the badge. Do you remember the badge for Q96 in Paisley? You'll be seeing that backwards. Well, that's what we're doing there. That is actually the badge. Tremendous stuff. Now, I'm just going to share in a group, folks, right? And if you can get sharing as well, absolutely tremendous. Very, very important. Right, that's me you shared that. Good evening, Scotty. Did you see the Flying Scotsman Loco doing several runs over the fourth bridge? Stephen Menzies. I adore that old train. I really do. When uh, did she come into being? Was it 1926? or something like that nice badge says ryan william rear absolutely ryan william rear and um, they go for very very high prices i can tell you that uh, you're coming in clearly in mal's design says charles mclaughlin charles mclaughlin spill exactly where that is pardon my ignorance all right uh, hello scotty i've arrived says neil o'gormley about time neil o'gormley we have so much to talk about tonight it's a little time to do it in. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching the Scotty McClure Show. We're live on Facebook Live. And tonight we're discussing the royal wedding. This is a royal wedding special or a royal wedding spectacular. 
So there we go. And tonight we're saying, what did you think of the wedding? Did you enjoy it? Now, just to put the idiots at ease. Hello, Scotty. How are you tonight? Says Brian Keswick. Fantastic. So there we go. And uh, what did you think of the kids, Scotty? Says Thomas Hamilton. I thought they were so well behaved, Thomas. They really were a credit to the family. Tremendous stuff. Boo, says James Adamson. Oh, you gave me a fright, James Adamson. Do not do that. In 1923, it was built, says Stephen Menzies. What did I say, Stephen? Was I three years out? So the Flying Scotsman, built in 1923. So uh, let's just work that out exactly. She's... Um, Ooh, 90, 1923, so she did 2003, she was 80, 2013, she was 90, she's 95 this year. Is that right, Stephen Menzies? A 95-year-old locomotive. Amazing. Old technology, but very, very effective. Charles McLaughlin says, on the shore of Lake Garda, I have you. You are in Italy. You're visiting mom. Is lovely, very nice. The pasta is beautiful. Uh, good evening, Scotty. All the best from Motherwell. So, Thomas Stephen Farley, Dinky Doo, Thomas Stephen Farley, and all the best to you from uh, Scotty McClue around the globe. Tremendous. So, there we go. Let's have your comments on the raw wedding, folks. What did you think of it? Uh, one or two of the idiots were saying, waste of money. Have they any concept just how much? that wedding will bring in to this country. There was no reason for anyone to have any negative feeling at all towards that wedding. Uh, so there we go. The wedding was amazing. A lovely occasion, says Gary Murky. And absolutely, or Gary Murchie. How do you like to pronounce it, Gary, if you can put a bit of phonetics in there? So there we go. John Adams, dinky do. lovely to have you. What do you think of the song, Scotty? Oh, tremendous, Thomas Hamilton. Have you seen Scotty McClue's poem for the royal wedding? So there we are. I'm just going to have a look and see if I can get that for you. If we can get the poem, then we are laughing. A poem, a poem. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Uh, the wedding was superb, says Brian Keane. Hello, Scotty from Stirling. Frankie Keane, dinky do from Stirling there. Tremendous. I remember setting up the radio station for Stirling Central FM, and it's still on air. It must be about uh, 29 years later. They are almost 30 years since I set up the radio station for Central Scotland. Scotty, have you met any of the royals? Says Chris Kelly. Chris Kelly, um, what to do is go to Scotty McClue's website and look up Photos, right? Very good. Get on to Scott and Clue's website, look up photos, and you will see some interesting things there. Uh, Prince Harry's done more work than most people will ever see, says Steve Burrows. Tremendous, Steve. You're absolutely right. Good evening, Scotty. Always good to see you broadcasting, says Stephen Short. And you, Stephen. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. I'm just going to share and just put live now. Right, okay, live now. Wonderful, right? That's gone out there. Uh, now, can everybody share? I think we're a bit late with this one. Yes, we are. We're five minutes late. So can we share, 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 share. Share this video right now, everyone, with all your contacts, all your friends, and, of course, with, um, with your groups. Very, very important. God, I mind listening to you at 10 p.m. in a weeknight. No, it's just, it's just Scotty McClue. Uh, what was the station again, says Scott Johnson? It was Scott FM. Great radio station, says Mary Allen. Scott FM, Scotland's finest radio hour. Charles McLaughlin, they're a lovely couple. I hope they have a long and happy marriage. Me too. I've met Charles and my stepdad taught him in Dundee, in Gordonston says John Adams. Gordonston's not quite in Dundee. It's uh, up on the shores of the Murray Firth. So there you are. So a little bit further north between Aberdeen and Inverness. Excellent stuff. Ryan William Ray, a sheer dinky-doo. OMG Scotty. 
You're full of information. I love you. My paps loved you on Scott FM, says Christine Garvin. Thank you, Christine. Lovely, lovely, lovely to be with you. I met you in Hamilton, my Paladin ice cream van. Tam, says Gary Murphy. Yes, say hello to Tam from me. Tam the van, what a super guy. Excellent stuff. Um, I have a share, Scotty. Okay, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Excellent, Thomas. If everybody can share, 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 share. Uh, so it was nice to hear your dulcet tones again, mate says Scott Johnson. Lovely to be back with everyone, Scott. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Stephen Mooney, Dinky, do come and join us. You're very, very welcome. Folks, if you've just joined us from around the globe, tell us where you're watching from. I know we attract a big audience um, from the UK and from Scotland, but also America. McClue is like a demigod in America. So spread the word to America. Share with your American groups. Um, Gary Moche, says Gary, yes, shared, says Christine Garvin, thank you, Christine, very much appreciated, you're watching Scotty McClue, folks, first lord of the internet, and of course, the world's top broadcaster, Glasgow, says Christine, yes, big following in Glasgow as well, Christine, I wondered if Prince Harry might have been made the Duke of Glasgow, I thought that might have been a nice Scottish title for him. So there you are, because the royal family and massively the monarchy is actually originally a Scottish institution from 1603. It was the Scottish king that took over the crown and the crowns united, the crown of Scotland and the crown of England united in 1603. And we need the royal family on side. If you believe Scotland should be independent, your first port of call would be the royal family on side. Uh, watches from the car park in Bells Hill train station, Scotty. And from click manager, says Mary Allen. Jim Wilson is in Bells Hill station. Fine part of the world. Paisley, says Claire Flood. Ah, Paisley. Scotty McClue is massive in Paisley. Thomas Hamilton sends lots of wonderful hearts. Dinky do, guys. Get some hearts going, come on. Tap, tap, tapity tap, tapity tapity tap on your screen for the Scotty McClue Show. Let's see it, come on, bit of action there. You lazy, lazy lot that you are. Raw Wedding, two billion, Scotty, not far behind, says uh, Stephen Bart Sorry, Raw Wedding, two billion, Scotty, not far behind. Tremendous stuff, the Raw Wedding was a boost to tourism in the UK. That wedding, folks, will have brought in fortunes so if anybody says it was a waste of money laugh in their face giggle in their pus excellent stuff mary hill scotty says thomas hamilton a fine fine part of the world thomas hamilton lovely to have you with us sorry about the little shadow there that was me putting my hand over one of the main studio lights tremendous uh, scotty can you give my sister kel a shout out she's an airdrie says janice curry Kel in Airdrie, a big shout out for you and Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue and all of us here at Facebook Live globally throughout the world. Um, I'm listening to you, Scotty. I'm from Johnson, says Michael Quinn. Dinky Doo, Michael, lovely to have you with us. And love to Johnston, I say. Here's somebody in Grangemouth, VJ Dukram in Grangemouth. How tremendous is that? Clyde Bank, Scotty, says Gaynor Rooney. Dinky do, Gaynor, lovely to have you with us. You thick, regardless if we go independent or not, Queen will still be our Queen, says Andy Kerr. Of course she will, Andy, because she wears the joint crown. So there you are. She is our sovereign lady. Very, very important. And I would say all the people that um, mourn about having a republic if you went independent, forget it, forget it, forget it. All right. We need the Queen. We need the royal family. Support the crown. If you have the royals on side, Scotland could never go independent without the royal assent. Yeah, that comes from the Queen. Uh, if you're a doctor, to, hey, Abattoir. Abattoir, says Julianne Scott. Oh, Abattoir, down in Wales, Julianne Scott. I say to you, yes, Nostar and Yakida. Uh, 
So there we are. Lizzie in the face like fizz all day, says Gordon Sterling. No, no, I think a lot of stress. I mean, that lady is uh, 93, is she not? 92. 92. Just done 92. Her husband, the wonderful Prince Philip, 96. Amazing. Uh, my wife looked like Megan years ago. What went wrong, says Steve Burrows? Steve Burrows, you will catch it tonight. You are in serious trouble. Mark my once. Obviously, I don't know the story of your marriage, but mark my once. You're in for it, boy. So there you are. I sent you some nice footage from the footplate of the Flying Scotsman to look at later, says Stephen Menzies. Stephen Menzies, you're such a lovely person, an absolute gem. Uh, so there we go. Sycophancy, that's all this is. Pure sycophancy. Sickening, says Matthew Campbell. Matthew Campbell, you are the most unswitched on person I could possibly meet. There's no sycophancy. I believe we are all equal. But I thank, thank the royal family from the bottom of my heart for curating the crown. Tremendous. Uh, for says uh, Dolce, Dolce, Dolce and Four. So there we are. Tell me more, tell me more, Julianne Scott. You can teach the world Welsh on here. So there we are. You can take the lady out of, you can take the Welsh out of the lady. No, you can take the lady out of Wales, but you won't take Wales out of the lady. Is that right? Evening, you're a breath of fresh air, says Tony Bamford. A shout out to Aunt Cathy, says Stuart Wilson. Auntie Cathy. Stuart Wilson, your nephew, sends love. So there you are, big shout out. Scotty, get him tilt, says Chris Kelly. I will, Chris. I need to inform, educate, and entertain all of you. So there you are, that is my job. All right, Scotty, it's been a while since Alan Alsa Hales. Alan Alsa Hales, it's been far too long. Don't you leave it so long next time. All right, loved you on the radio, says Gaynor Renee. How much do you reckon this will have brought in for the UK? How much do you reckon, Scotty? Um, Scotland will have made from it. Scotland will have made a fortune out of that. What you've got to remember, a little bit of detail for you here. Um, <clears throat> the groom's grandfather, the royal family are our lifeblood, says Steve Burrows. It was part of the independence mandate that the Queen would remain as head of state for Scotland. I heard Alex Salmond say it, and quite right too, says Gary Crossan. We're all equal. What about the homeless people who were swept away to clear room for the crowds? Were they treated as equals? Matthew Campbell, absolutely. That was one of the most humane things that has ever happened. Somebody even thought about the homeless people. If you know anything about homeless people, if you've been homeless yourself, you will know that they are very, very vulnerable and at risk. They could have been overwhelmed by the crowds. They were taken away, they would be fed and looked after and cared for. And that's far more important than you having a big chip on your shooter. Uh, Scotty, I thought you were no longer with us, says Sev Bolton. Don't be ridiculous, Sev. McClue is always with us. Used to listen to you every night. Where have you been? Says Jackie McLean. Dinky do Jackie. I can pronounce that really long railway station in Wales, Scotty. Cardiff Central says Steely Wearmouth. One second, guys. Just checking this out here. A little bit of um, <laughs> personal care. It is so hot in this studio. It's absolutely roasting. If brides are beautiful, where do ugly wives come from? <laughs> Neil O'Gormley, only kidding. All women are beautiful, he says. Just managed to redeem himself there, guys. It's Christmas, says Jess Gunn. Yes, that's what it's like. Scotty McClure is back in touch with the world. That's like all your Christmases have come at once. So there we are. Nick Baldy, lovely big smile. You and Chewing the Fat, says Jack Alexander Bastille. No, I would love a little part in Chewing the Fat. Sit there in the clansmen saying, Bobby, I'll have a large one, please. And for my friends here on either side, nothing! Right, uh, can we have a few tunes in the box to take my mind off the wedding, please? Yes, I'll see if I could play you a nice bit of handle uh, or something like that. Uh, Jackie McLean, I remember the potatoes joke you done. I did, Jackie. I didn't done it. I did it. Uh, you've been spot on, boss, with everything you do with the raw wedding. Dinky-doo, boss, 
says Murray Ramage. Murray Ramage, I thank you, one of our very, very switched on people. Somebody that really, really, really knows what they're talking about. Murray Ramage, dinky do to you. Thumbs up from Scotty McClue. Excellent stuff. Are you big jock from Tune the Fat? I want Tune the Fat, sorry. I was thinking still game. Big jock, big jock's on the bell. What are we all having? So there we are. I actually know somebody who's like big jock. So there we are. I always got a wee wad there at the bar and helping y'all out. Ah, brilliant, says Alexander Vistel. Uh, PML used to listen to you years ago, says Elaine Sylvester McCall. John Crawford, it's John here. Hello, John. Dinky do, and someday Matthew Campbell. If you believe that they were tossed to the side for their own good, then it's truly worrying. No, it's not worrying, Matthew Campbell. It was very, very helpful for them, and also they'll no doubt have taken some details and may be able to get them a much better situation. Cause you either know or you don't know. You don't sound very bright, but people can sometimes be homeless through absolutely. No fault of their own. I've had a lot to do with challenged people in my life. And I can tell you that they have been done a massive, massive favour. It should happen right throughout the country. Yeah? And they should stand up in Parliament and say, look, nobody in this country should be homeless. Okay? And uh, there we are. And somebody says, but have you got, you've been out enjoying the weather, Scotty? You look as if you've caught the sun. I have. Lovely to see you back. You'll be great and still game, says Liz Mara. Who knows, Liz? There are some big wigs from the BBC always watch Scotty McClue on a Sunday night on Facebook Live. So perhaps somebody will whisper in somebody's shell-like ear and say, what about Scotty McClue? Sorry for being late, Scotty. Just back for the wedding, says Rab. Dinky do, Rab. Uh, welcome home, I say. I hope you had a nice time. Uh, so there we are. Doo doo, doo doo, says John Crawford. What station were you kicked out of, says Graham Hardy? Graham, I have never, ever, ever been kicked out of a station. Never through anything I have said, and never through anything I have done. All right? You're talking to a man of integrity here. And I will tell you this when Scott FM, when I left Scott FM, Right, not by consent. Um, I have to say something very strange must have happened behind the scenes because the other radio stations were screaming, screaming about uh, the fact everybody was tuning to Scotty McClue live on Scott FM. So there we are. Matthew Campbell, he's back. I've had a lot to do with challenged people and homeless people, and I can tell you now, sweeping them aside to make room for a bunch of sycophants has done nothing but confirm the fact that, and we've run out for reasons of space. I can't click see more, Matthew Campbell, but I can tell you that that was a lovely, lovely gesture to get the homeless off the streets of Windsor. It should happen right across the nation. So there you are. Clan fair, poily, willy, goggery, goggery, cleed, brilliant, yeah, silly, oh, go, go, go. How's that for a go, Julian Scott? Clan fire, poily, nagwinna, gilly, goggery, quin, rib, willy, dia, lant, silly, oh, go, go, go. Uh, hi, Scotty, I thought you were dead, says Liz Mooney. Don't be ridiculous, Liz. Um, it's the show of the week, Scotty. Says David Rendell, yes, everybody is talking about it. Everyone is talking about Scotty McClure and Facebook Live. And everyone seems to be watching it. The word is going out there. But guys, I promise you, although I'm sitting here, I'm just the catalyst. This is where we all get together. This is where the chit chat happens big time. And I hope one of the television companies are smart enough to pick this program up for even half an hour a week. Friday night, 11 to 11.30. Great to hear you, Scotty. Best wishes to you. A shout out to your boy, Skimp, says Daniel Brady. Jack Brady, says Stuart Wilson. Nope. Lol, says Julianne Scott. So I didn't pronounce it right. Well, you pronounce it, Julianne Scott. Good evening, Scotty. So the wonderful Helena Innes, a fantastic academic lady. One of the most switched on people I've ever met. 
Uh, I mind your phone ends. 10 to 1, says Christine Garvin. Absolutely. 10 to 1, five nights a week, Monday to Friday. Scott FM, Scott of a Clue, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Shout out to Entry Room Band from Glasgow playing on the 2nd of June, says Jack Alexander. And uh, sorry, typo. Where did they put the homeless people, says Matthew Campbell. They would put them somewhere where they would be warm and comfortable and not overwhelmed by the situation. Matthew Campbell, time you grew up, chum. You've a lot to learn. Nice to see you, says Carol Lindsay. Shout out to Callum Bowes. The last time I had a sunburned face, my wife asked me if I'd been docking. Can't see that. Scotty, are you back in the airwaves? Because your skin, says Steve Bolton. No, Steve, nothing to do with that. I'm back in the airwaves. Please can you give Kirsty Allen a shout out? Back in the airwaves because public demand um, made it a necessity. Scotty, a shout out to... Um, who have we got there, says Daniel Brady. Don't know, can't quite see that. Hi, Scott, again, got a shout out. Um, so there we are, says Ross Watt. Actually, in fact, what I'm going to do with you, Ross, is I'm going to, I'll delete your comments now, and I might ban you the next time. Okay, so there we are. And uh, Gene Stewart says a shout out for Jade Martin. Excellent. Stuart Wilson, I'll take your comment out as well. This time you're getting away light. Next time I'll ban you. Nobody will ever hear of you again. We want you back on the radio. Absolutely brilliant. Biffy Elizabeth Smith, dinky do to you. Let's be having you now. Um, 40 minutes gone already. You've got to be on for two hours, Scotty. Come on, guys. We need to get sharing. Share, 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 share. I'm going to share right now, and I want every single one of you to do the same all right, can we now all share, 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 share. Let's do it together. We have so much to do. So there we are. I'm going to share it to a group. And um, here we go here. Uh, what have we got here? Facebook. I'll share it to a Facebook group. There we are. Facebook live video streaming. They've just got it there. And off we jolly well go. Excellent stuff. Now, um, Frank Brady, this is the one you used to call on the radio, says somebody. You guys are all doing notes. Shout out for Jade Martin. We've done that when everybody's shared. Tell me when you've shared. Type in I've shared. And also type, 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 type. Tap, 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 tap on your screen and on your type, 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 type. Very important. Scotty, good to see you. Did you enjoy the raw wedding yesterday? Yes, we're discussing the raw wedding. Every single person, apart from a couple of idiots, say it was just the best thing ever. It was what this country needed after 10 years of political austerity. So there you go. Fabulous. Shared from Lark Hall in Scotland. Fine part of the world. I passed Lark Hall on the way back today. Tremendous. So uh, lovely to have you with us. Now, let's get your comments. Tell us what is what everybody's sharing. Very, very important. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the program. If this is the first time you've seen it, folks, just to let you know that at 9 o'clock every Sunday night, that's 9 o'clock British summertime, BST, obviously in the winter when we spring forward, fall back into the winter in the fall, then we are Greenwich Mean Time, because a lot of you will be watching from America, where McClure is a demigod, so you'll have Eastern Standard Time over there, very important as well. Right, what's happening here? What are you lot saying? Um, absolutely brilliant. It brings back memories of Scott FM with yourself, the regular phone-ins, and Rufus, says John Kusk. We want you back on the radio, says Michael Quinn. 40 minutes gone. You've got to be on for two hours, Scotty. The Unicorn Independence Convoy to Dumfries. I'm going to support my country of Scotland. Going to be a big one, says Michael McGuigan. Good for you, Michael McGuigan. You know what I think. I'm no politician. I'm not into politics. Um, and I'm no nationalist. But I believe Scotland should be independent. Right, so there we are. United Scotland, independent. United in independence. Run its own affairs. Because Westminster is a different culture altogether to Scotland. But very, very important that we keep our royal family 
and support our crown. Right? Uh, can you give my darling wife, Suzanne Schott, a big shout out, Scotty? It's a first time listening, says Stephen Schott. Stephen, there's a first time for everything I say. Can everybody get sharing? Come on, just because I'm not uh, chiving you along all the time doesn't mean you shouldn't be sharing. Excellent stuff. So there we go. Now, who have we got here? Um, fantastic. Sharing is caring. So there you are. How's your camera new on, says Neil Holgate. It is. Guys, can you see if you can see Scotty McClure right now? Can you actually tell us if the camera's working fine? I hope you're well, Scotty, says Biffy Elizabeth Smith. So there we are. <clears throat> you said it. Why don't we have a Scott as Queen again? Well, we've got one, really. The Queen is 50% Scots. Her mother, her predecessor, Queen Elizabeth, was 100% Scots. The Queen is the Duchess of Edinburgh. Her husband is the Duke of Edinburgh. Her son is Royal Highness Prince Charles. Royal Highness Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, is uh, the Duke of Rothsey, is the Lord of the Isles, is Baron Renfrew. His son, William, is the Earl of Strathairn. So there you are. And um, although Harry got his English title, Duke of Sussex, I would like to see him as the Duke of Glasgow. I thought that would have been a nice touch. So there we are. Frank Brady, this is who Mum used to call in the radio all the time. Tremendous. How good is that? So there we go. Shared, 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 shared in Lark Hall. Yes, shared, says Christine Garvin. How tremendous is that? Now, guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. First Lord of the Internet, the world's top broadcaster tonight, is a royal wedding spectacular. We're discussing yesterday's incredible event, so there you are. But we're here every Sunday night. Prince Charles was very gallant. I was just saying that. Can you please say, wish my son Lyle a happy belated 16th birthday? I can indeed. Now, I'll give you a nice little bit of music just uh, for the royal wedding see if you like this one guys are we ready i've got a, an organ here Did you like that? I thought that was quite a nice one. Uh, sometimes people have that at royal weddings. Where should the money go? Kids with rickets or the royal wedding? Well, what we say, the kids with rickets would have nothing from the politicians. The royal wedding will have brought in such a fortune to this country that the kids with rickets may well benefit directly or indirectly. So there we are. Excellent. Wow, wow, wow. Well played, Scotty. Thank you very much. So there you are. I uh, just did that off the tap of my head there, but I thought we'd like that and we'd have a bit of a celebration for the Royal Wedding on here. So there we go. Yes, we shared, we shared. Excellent stuff. Good, good. Keep your comments coming, guys. Keep your comments coming. They seem to have frozen here. Tremendous stuff. Shared. Uh, hi, it's Maureen Craig. Oh, no, hi, Maureen Craig says Jackie McLean. Shared it, says Neil Holgate. Tremendous. Hazel Smith, come and join us. I agree, Scotty. Thoroughly enjoyed every moment. The weather was fabulous, says Helena Innes. Dinky do, Helena. Tremendous stuff. Now, I've been associated uh, with St. George's Chapel, Windsor, for many, 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 many years. There you are. I know the whole place inside out, and it is the most spectacular 
spectacular, building the fountain pillars, the stained glass, the choir, and of course all the royals, kings and queens, going back. There's the royal vault there, <clears throat> George V buried there, and uh, Queen Victoria, of course, over at Frogmore with Prince Albert. The funeral service of uh, Edward VIII, the king that abdicated, took place there in 1972. Uh, king George VI was buried there in 1969. Now, it's interesting, he died in 1952, but he was in the royal vault, and the Queen Mother said, we must bury the king, and he has his own chapel, the George VI chapel, the Queen's father, and of course the Queen Mother is there with him as well. Tremendous, so a wonderful, wonderful building. And of course the home of the Order of the Garter, and the Garter service, the Garter ceremony in the, in the, the summer there, tremendous stuff, and the Knights of the Garter's banners are there, and of course the other great order is the Order of the thistle. Tremendous. So there you are. Uh, so fantastic. Now, uh, lots more of you. Did you paint it? Tremendous. I don't know if I've still got a photo. I may have one. Let me just see. Yes. Now, this is me. I'm the wee guy at Windsor. So there we are. That was yesterday, I have to say. And that's my beautiful little cousin Fiona there. And there's the Queen's Guard standing behind so excellent stuff so can you see that and there's windsor castle tremendous and that's that's my clue as a wee one i'll bring it up for you how about that well there's wee mcclue and his lovely cousin fiona so there we go and she said i remember her saying do you think the queen will like my pretty dress bless her i say tremendous. that was my first contact with windsor castle it's all about Scotland, says Kenny Mitchell. Absolutely, Kenny. Good evening, Scotty from Stonehouse, says Jill Whitelock Clues. Hello, Jill. And did you do a wee bit of anything? Harry Lauder for my gran on the box. I'll try and do a wee bit of Harry Lauder. Wait, wait till we see. So there we go. A wee bit of Harry Lauder. What could we have? What Harry Lauders do you like? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just a wee jock and Doris. Just a wee jock and Doris. Just a wee one, that's all. Just a wee jock and Doris. Afore we gang a wall, there's a wee wifey waiting in a wee barton ben. If you can see it's a broad brick min licht, then you're all right, you can. How about that? We better have a lot of horio. And uh, dinky do Harry Lauder will be Berlin in his grave, oh yes, out at the Bent Cemetery in Hamilton there. Harry Lauder's funeral, absolutely massive. Can you do the national anthem to finish, Scotty? Go on yourself, absolutely. Is it finishing time? Oh my goodness, it will be in a few minutes. So there we are. We'll have to finish in a few minutes. Guys, what did you think of the wedding? Let's have your comments. Hello, Scotty. You're a legend. Myself and my late dad listened to you. Tremendous. What a fantastic program we did. Although I say it myself, I'm not saying I'm a fantastic. The program was fantastic. Made so by you lot. Your good selves. So there you go. So you go on yourself, I say. Night night, all early rise tomorrow. Dinky do night night. Have a lovely, lovely time. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's been a spectacular program. So much to talk about. So little time to do it in one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. And we will perhaps finish with the national anthem on the organ here for all of you. And remember, if you're into Scottish independence, support your royal family, the holders of the Scottish crown. That's the passport. So there you are. The wedding was too long. 
when I got married, there was not a word about it. So there you are. <laughs> Dee Gurley, Dinky Do, from me, Scotty McClue. Who have we got here? Let's see. Um, who are this lot, Mr. McClue? Sax, Colburg, Gotha. Well, yes, well, in actual fact, originally, in 1603, there were Stuarts. But the last Stuart, Queen, Queen Anne, died in 1714. I think the cost of Blenheim Palace that she gave to um, to the Duke of Marlborough was actually uh, her, and, her and old um, Sir John Vanborough, the, the architect, fought quite a bit about the cost of Blenheim Palace. No wonder. <coughs> Pardon me. Anyway, uh, Queen Anne died in 1714. And then, of course, you have to bring people in. For instance, people think Prince Philip's family are Greeks. They're not. They're Danish because they were invited to take over the Greek throne. So then, uh, of course, in 1688, we'd had William and Mary come over. So there you are, the Glorious Revolution, as it was called. And then you had other Stuarts. So as I say, Queen Anne died 1714. And then after that, you were into the Georges. So don't be going, who are this lot? They are our monarchs. They are the curators of our crown and thank goodness i say and of course they have experiment experience of europe of course there's a lot of europeans involved there's absolutely no doubt about that when uh, lord conningham and the archbishop of canterbury knocked the door um of uh, i suppose it would be windsor castle or buckingham palace to tell queen victoria at the age of 18 that she was now queen her mother the duchess of kent actually said and i am the queen mother and they said no mom you are the queen's mother so they are that put her in her place because of course uh, she was hanging about with the controller of the household scotty what do you think about celtic winning the double treble well polyam william leslie there's absolutely no doubt that the hoops are a fantastic team so there you are um can see you says gainer rooney excellent I can't see you on cam, says Neil Holgate. Neil Holgate, how can that happen? I can see you, pal. Scotty, your cam has frozen. You're looking grand, Scotty. Camera grand. Excellent. Everything's working out. No problem at all, folks. I am so pleased to hear it. So there we go. Now, uh, we've got uh, just a few minutes left. Somebody wanted the national anthem just to say thank you for the wonderful wedding yesterday. So uh, I'll see if I can do it. Off the top of my head. folks how about that so there we are no problems with the camera here says vj decorum you're looking grand scotty absolutely do you think that good night scotty it's been good seeing you uh good night pal have a good week okay do you think the recent increase in rickets amongst working class kids could have been stopped if we'd spent 30 mil on feeding children rather than a wedding matthew campbell you seem to be as thick as two short planks here which bit are you not getting? We didn't spend on the wedding. The investment will have come back many, 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 many fold, right? If you didn't want the rickets and the children, Mrs. Thatcher should not have stolen the milk off them, right? So there you go. That would have helped. We still had free school milk. And I'm on your side. I want to feed the children, right? But the wedding would only help towards that. It has brought in fortunes to the country. Please get your tiny mind round that. Right, Sheridan Leyland, says Jeanette Morgan. Camera's perfect, Scotty. The only downfall is we can see your face. I make no apologies for that. If you've got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's your problem. 
So there we are. Hello from Stonehouse. Go you. Kids with rickets are all wedding. Where should the money go? This is Matthew Campbell. Right, the money will come. The prince, um, Prince Harry's father, the prince has many charities and many trusts. And I'm quite sure that they will be looking into any situation, any return of rickets and seeing what can be done about it. But then people like you start accusing Prince Charles of meddling in politics. So the man can't win. What you need to do is take the chips off your shoulder, stop being chippy, go and help the homeless, help to collect for the children with rickets, and do something. The royals will have helped many, 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 many times. All right? Sounds like the ballroom at Blackpool Towers, this rub. Bring the house down, Scott. Scott, again, you give my daughter a shout out. Her name is Kimberly Quinn. Michael Quinn. I am delighted so to do. Thanks, that went some small way to take my mind off the wedding, says Gordon Stilling. Gordon Stilling, you should have been piping at that wedding. And if you had been, I think you might have changed your tune. So there we are. Exit stuff. Wow, 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 says Christine Govan. Well played, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Not at all, Thomas. A great privilege and a great pleasure. Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, just for you, saying dinky do. If any of you are feeling flush, go to Scotty McClue's website. Remember, I accept a plaza derision on my merits. Go to Scotty McClue's website, www scotty mcclue.com and you'll see a logo for PayPal and GoFundMe. If you've got a spare couple of quid, stick it in there and we'll sort that out. Thank you very much. So there you are. Excellent. Now, who else have we got? Because we are running out of time. Matthew Campbell, what are you saying this time? So in six months' time, when these kids are still starving, you admit it was a gross waste of funds. Matthew Campbell, Try and try and think about this. There's no wasting of funds. The wedding has brought in a fortune. All you need to say, Matthew Campbell, not in six months' time, right now, is thank you, thank you, thank you to the state, to Meghan, to Harry, to the royal family for making a fortune yesterday as a byproduct of letting us all see their nuptials all right get your head round that matthew campbell because you're making such a mistake and you're not just making one mistake you're making it repeatedly all right so they are right that's all the time i've got for you until you get thinking great result for celtic yesterday says helena innes i agree helena absolutely absolutely loving this says jackie mclean scotty are you a member of the Looney Party? No, Steve, but if, uh, you know, you've obviously got a lot of influence there, then you can send out the forms. Uh, what's that tune, Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. Which one was it? The one, um, what was the one? Just a wee jock and Doris. That was what it was called. Night, boss. Up early for work. Catch you during the week. Sources, Murray Ramage, Jack Patterson, Dinky Doo, Jill Whitelaw, Clues. We run a community radio station in South Lanarkshire. Yes, I used to run the radio station in South Lanarkshire. And what have we got here? Oh, difficult to see. Anyway, not to worry. That will come back and we will get that. Dinky do. Right. I must dash. Wonderful stuff. And we'll come back to that. Um, I can't see that. Let me see more. See if it will go up. Yeah, there we are. We're on a community radio station in South Lanarkshire, South Lanarkshire Radio. Will you be joining us? Douglas McPherson, Sax Cobert Gotha, now the House of Windsor. All right. Um, hi, Scotty. Can you give me a mention, please? Says Frank Gallagher, Dinky Doo. So there are Susan Copeland Power, a highly intelligent woman. Wedding was beautiful, but I'm not sure about having his ex there. So there we are, well known at the time. I want a mug for my tea. That's it, folks. We're out of time. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. So there we are. I will sing you all out. You do the national anthem to finish, Scotty. Tremendous stuff. Going to sing you out, folks. Scotty McClure say Dinky Doo to all of you. Right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. 
Goodbye, everybody of Wittal Zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky-doo.